Okay, take notes on this, even though it's going to seem fairly simple in the end. Okay, and uh, you'll see it's going to get a little complicated after. Okay, this is increments. We have to get this and have your increments correctly. Increments. Now, just to, just to show you what I mean by this, as we're learning and we're introducing how to how to uh, graph these sine and cosine functions. The way I teach it is you're going to have your, your y-axis, you're going to have your x-axis, right? And I wanna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it up into four, increments of four, so that you're able to graph one, one, one cycle or one period. Okay, so I'm going to make a hash mark like this. Then we're going to use four increments. So I, if, if this is my one cycle here, and I break it in half, and then I break that half in half, I'm going to have exact fourths, right? Now, even though we're going to be graphing this all the time like this, what you're not going to be able to tell is um, how this length or how this distance measures, measures up to other lengths and other distances. So, for example, if I tell you that this is uh, 4, this length is 4, right? obviously we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, right? And then you graph a curve, right? You can use these 4 increments to help you graph a curve. So, it'll be like something like this, right? And then later I'll show you how to do all these points. So see here you would go. This is one, one cycle. This is one cycle. Now later when you graph another function, and again you might it might look like this as well. It might look like this as well. And let's say now this distance is not four. It's it's two. Right. Now, even though I'm using, I'm seeing it like this, it looks, this is, and, and I do the same thing, right? So this will be uh, one, one half, two, three. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, this is what you're going to learn, how to do these increments. And then again, even if I graph this one here and I do it the same, you're going to think it's the same curve. See, because it looks the same. Well, it's not. Oops. Right? Even though you're going to be practicing doing this. Even though they look the same, these are different because of the distance, because of this length. Right? These have to be correct. Your increments. This is what I'm going to be looking at. This is really important. You see how they look like they're the same size and everything? They're not. Because if I were to graph this one on this scale, right? We're just using it like this so we can so it can look, you know, easy to easy to graph. But but when I put this graph on this one, see this one has a distance of 2. This completed one cycle in the distance of two. Here, a distance of two is not from here to here. This is a distance of four. A distance of two is from here to here. So in actuality, this graph right here, this blue graph, if I were to put it here, would actually only exist from there to two, from here to here, which means that this graph would actually be like this here like this you see because it all it it made one cycle in this distance from zero to two but since we're all going to graph it like this what's well, going to again the increments is is what is what is what's going to tell me what's uh what's correct okay so these increments have to be correct all right let me pause it here. Hold on.